Viewers, today latest update about war between Ethiopian National Defense Force and the Tigray Defense Force and Oromo Liberation Army in Ethiopia. Viewers, the Oromo Liberation Army has overtaken the Shawa region in Addis. They are waiting for the troops coming from the north side. They don't know the situation of Ethiopia. On the other hand, it seems that the Tigray Defense Forces and Allied Forces from the Oromo are means from the gates of the Ethiopian capital Addis. Now the Tigrayan forces are preparing to receive instructions to enter from their commander. After waiting for the ongoing negotiation with Abiy Ahmed. As their leaders are waiting for the last things to happen after the ongoing talks. And it was according to the sources, Obasanjo, the representative of the African Union for the Horn of Africa, has returned to the capital of Tigray region, Makale, again. Obasanjo, who is mediating to stop the conflict in Ethiopia, has met Abiy Ahmed, the Prime Minister of Ethiopia, for the first time. The President of Ethiopia, the President of Oromia, after that, he travelled to Makale. There, he met the leaders of Tigray, including Bresson and Gato Chivrida, and he came back after that. Addis Ababa, yesterday, Tuesday, he travelled to Amhara region and Afar and today he went back to Makele to meet TPLF leader there. The war are going on the first international community of Africa is trying to stop the war and come to the table for discussion. And viewers, the fascists are deceiving children and forcing them to war and killing them captives. It is known that Fasset Abiy Ahmed is deceiving the people of Tigray by deceiving the Ethiopian people and forcing some to the front. The army that he is training he is also giving them a dinner for the fire without giving them any training. The members of his own army who have learned by Alsa Lika Tekel Samuel was killed by force. The way to the war front and use it. The promise that he was promised to continue being deceived showed that he did not get it in action, rather than cheating. Hamsa al Samul, the Tigrayan army has a big difference in their fighting strategy and ability compared to Abi army. In order to save his life, he says that he has given 17 members of Shambulo and many weapons to the Tigray army. Similarly, the fascists are deceiving children and leading them to war and killing them while giving his hand of the Tigray army and the member of the fascist Abiy Ahmed. Has explained the situation of Hamisa Alika Tekel Samuel, the young sister. Mustafa, who is not old in far of war front, was arrested twice by fascist Abi army. He was sentenced to death to teach others and survived among the six of his friends who were killed in torture. The young singer explained that the fight was by his capacity and many misfortune. Chief Tackle Samuel has given his testimony to the operation of fascist ABM soldiers who are trying to escape and escape from the beating of the Tigray army. The president of Tigray, Dr. Bresson Gabriel Michael, has said that you should save your children who are not for education, not for competition and fascist preaching. And viewers, according to the sources, 
United States Secretary of State Antony Blinken expressed hope Wednesday that diplomatic efforts by the African Union high representative for the Horn of Africa Obasanjo will lead to end to the war in Ethiopia. I think all sides see the risks of continuing the conflict being controlled on news conference. In light of the important work that Obasanjo is engaged in effort that we and other are engaged in, we hope that there is still a chance to step back and move on to a better situation, he added. He hoped to negotiate and end to the violence and finally use the ceasefire to deliver humanitarian aid and over time negotiate a more sustainable political solution. The Tigray Front announces victories and the army confirms that its members have been based. In recent days, the Tigray rebels have approached the capital Addis Ababa and joined other armed groups. Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed sent to the army. Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed sent the army to Tigray in November 2020 to expel the regional authorities of the Tigray People Liberation Front, which he accused of attacking military bases. He declared his victory on November 28, but in June, the LTTE fighters recaptured most of Tigray and continued their offensive in the neighboring Afar and Amhara region. So, viewers, this is the latest update about it. For more latest report, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. <laughs>